My name's Doug Gaddy. I'm the owner of Absolute Vinyl Records and Stereo. I, I've been interested in music and in records because that was the medium when I was a child since, you know, like the age of 10 or 11. So I've always just had, had music in my life and records have been obviously a part of that too. And um, at some point I just started gathering enough records that I ended up with duplicates of things and I started swapping with other collectors and other dealers and from there you know 30 years later this is where I am. Records sound excellent, they have always sounded excellent and they're always going to sound excellent. It's a stable medium, they don't deteriorate over time. If you take care of them I, they'll last decades and a lot of the records we have in here are decades old already and uh, you know, they just, they're ready for more. It's an, it enables me to keep, um, in the original format, music that's on the verge of being forgotten um, still alive. Um, and that emphasizing the original format is important because a lot of, you know, great stuff was made in the 60s and 70s. Record companies, bands that just went nowhere in terms of, you know, popularity, and they're really on the verge of being forgotten and trying to get um, that stuff back out to the public before it does just vanish like dinosaur bones, you know, it turns to dust. It, record stores and records are just cool places. Um, historically, record stores were the centers of a part of the community. Uh, when a new band was going to issue a record, you had to go to a record store to get it, and you bought either a 45 or an LP. And if the band was really big, you would be lined up outside the door when the place opens, so you could rush in and buy it. And, you know, from there, record stores just, they're, they're real community centers. Records are here, people love them. Record stores are cool places to gather and, and be a part of something. Um, we've outgrown this space. We have enough, you know, enough traffic and enough inventory and enough interest in the store that it warrants expansion. There's some build out that needs to occur in the new location before I occupy it. If you, if you Google search Conestoga, and Arapaho, you would find a shopping center, um, and that's where I'll be.